Hey guys, this is Caleb with another Bible lesson for you. This one's about the right way and the wrong way. If we would have had church yesterday, our verse for the day would have been Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to tell you a story, a true story about a boy who came to know Jesus Christ as his Savior through this very verse. Boy's name was Ray. Ray was a pretty good kid. He didn't get into trouble much. Um, he even would go to Sunday school every Sunday. But one Sunday was the start of hunting season, and Ray loved to hunt, so Ray made a choice that day. He decided to go out for the first day of hunting season instead of go to Sunday school. So he put his hunting hat on, grabbed his gun, and he went out the door. But as he was heading out to the woods, he met his Sunday school teacher, Mr. Ashley. Mr. Ashley was a very nice man. He had taken Ray to a lot of places, taken him hiking, done a lot of fun things with him, and of course taught him about the Word of God, as any Sunday school teacher should do. Mr. Ashley um, was a little surprised to see Ray, and Ray was a little surprised to see Mr. Ashley. Mr. Ashley just asked Ray a simple question when he saw him. He said, Ray, aren't you going the wrong way this morning? Hmm, wasn't exactly the question that Ray wanted to hear. He said, well, Mr. Ashley, it's the first day of the hunting season and uh, I, I, I wanna get out there, I wanna, I wanna get something. And uh, I don't think it's so bad to miss Sunday school once in a while. It's not a sin. Mr. Ashley gave a good answer. He said, Ray, going your way instead of God's way is sin. And don't forget that the wages of sin is death. So Mr. Ashley went his way to church and Ray went his way out to the woods. Ray was thinking about that for a little while. He wasn't real happy about what Mr. Ashley said to him. He thought to himself, he's just trying to ruin my fun. Besides, what's wrong with hunting? It's not a sin. Ray went out to the woods and found that hunting was a little scarce that day. There really wasn't a whole lot to hunt, but he was out there, so he stuck around there for the whole day, walking around, trying to find something to hunt. Eventually, it started getting darker, and Ray realized that he didn't really know where he was in the woods. So he found a path and said, well, I'll just take this path, and hopefully it'll lead me to someplace. But it really didn't. It only got darker and darker and darker out there in the woods and pretty soon a thick fog rolled in it got thicker and thicker and thicker finally ray could hardly even see where he was going and he said to himself i better stop just then he took a step and he plunged into a pit in the ground pretty long fall pretty deep fall and when he went to the bottom when he hit the bottom he was pretty badly injured he found himself in quite a bit of pain. He had a broken ankle, probably a broken back too, and he couldn't move at all. All he could do was cry out for help, but he was out in the middle of nowhere in the woods. He had a lot of time to think. And while he was laying there in pain, in darkness, bottom of the pit, he remembered what Mr. Ashley said to him. Ray, going your way instead of God's way, sin. Don't forget that the wages of sin is death. Ray remembered the second part of that verse because he had learned it at church. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Right there, laying at the bottom of that pit, Ray called out to God. He said, God, I want to have that gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Please give me that gift. Then right there, amid all that fear, amid all that worry, Ray felt a strong feeling of peace come over him. You know why? Because Jesus Christ just came into his heart. Well, eventually some people came along and pulled Ray out of that pit, but it wasn't until the next morning. Ray spent the whole night in that pit. Thankfully, God spared his life. He was still alive. And what's more is he now knew Jesus Christ as his savior, but he still had some bad injuries, so he had to go to the hospital. 
and uh, it took him a little while to heal up, but he ended up making it okay. And while he was there, he got a visit from none other than Mr. Ashley. Mr. Ashley, his Sunday school teacher, was pretty happy to see that Ray was not only healed up in his body, but he was healed up in his heart. Why? Because Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross cleansed Ray of sin, washed his heart free from sin. Ray now had a new favorite book. It was called the Bible. And in the Bible, he had a favorite verse. The verse was this, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Ray claimed that verse because that was the verse that he used to come to Jesus as his Savior. But what about you? Are you on the right path or the wrong path? Ray was on the wrong path. Thankfully, he was rescued and was put on the right path. But what about you? Why don't you take some few quiet moments to think about that question, think about what path you're on. You know, we're not here to say that if you make a wrong choice, something horrible is going to happen to you. That's, that's not what we're saying. But like Ray found out, going your way instead of God's way is sin. And you know, the Word of God says that there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Which way are you on? Well, thanks for listening to this little lesson, and hopefully we'll have another one for you guys before too long. Stay safe and have a happy Easter.